What is up guys? It's Nate and I'm back with another 3D printing video and a two month update on my new favorite printer, man. This thing is a beast. I'm talking about the Tron XY VHO 600. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to tell you about my experience with this printer over the past couple months. I've learned a lot, so I'm going to tell you all about it. So let's go. What's up guys? So let me start off by saying hello, welcome to the channel, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm trying to get some more 3D printing content up for you guys, so I'm really excited to talk about my printer here. Uh, we got the Tron XY VHO 600. This is a 600 by 600 by 600 large format FDM printer. I've had it for about two months now, and this thing is just an absolute beast. Um, I love it. I'm not going to lie. I've upgraded the nozzle to a 0.8 nozzle and I am just pumping out prototypes with this bad boy. It goes well with my 3D scanner and rapid prototyping. I just love it. So uh, let me tell you about some of the pros, some of the cons, some of the things that I learned while owning this printer and hopefully it'll help you out and maybe you'll end up picking one up, you know? So shout out to Tron XY. They've been great with their support. I've had a few questions and they reached back out to me immediately uh, with answers and they were super, super helpful. So I'm really excited uh, to have this printer. I'm definitely looking at their IDEX printers, the Gemini S. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. And I'm just definitely surprised with the company. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the assembly. Okay, this is not a printer for beginners, okay? If you want to get into printing and you want to learn about printing and you're okay with the steep learning curve, yeah, grab this printer. But if you're intimidated by building things uh, with your own hands, this might be a little bit much for you because this is a full kit. You have to completely assemble this printer. And if you don't assemble it right, you're going to have issues. Um, I've had people comment and tell me, oh, I can't get that thing to print right. I can't get that thing to print right. Well, let me tell you, you have to take this thing slow when you put it together and you have to make sure every single parameter is square on this printer. I don't even use the beauty caps here um, because I like to tighten up the printer after every few prints. You know, make sure all the threads are tight. I would even say use some blue Loctite, you know, but you're going to want to make sure everything is plumb and square. Because if everything is in plumb and square, you're just not going to get a correct print. Um, another thing about the assembly is you have to make sure that your belts are tight, okay? Because I had my um, X-axis, the print head, it was off. So I had to go ahead and retighten my belts. I had to adjust my belts. And I had to make sure that um, everything was in sync because my circles weren't printing round. So I had to get everything dialed in. Now that's user error. That was my learning curve. So I can kind of appreciate this little bad boy tuning me in and helping me learn a little bit more about 3D printing. So make sure you do that. Make sure it's super square. Make sure you tighten the belts and also make sure that you clean the rails. Um, I noticed that in my dusty environment here, these rails, they get a little bit dirty, so wipe them off after every few uses. Uh, so that's basically what I have to say about the assembly. Everything was super straightforward. Uh, the instruction manual was super good. And this thing has just been an absolute beast ever since I set it up, just pumping out parts. So that's pretty good.
far as support, I had a few slight issues with this thing, a few questions. And Tronix Y, the team was fantastic. Uh, they messaged me back super fast. They walked me through anything I needed to <laughs> get walked through and they didn't shame me for it either. So thanks guys, I really appreciate that. Um, you know, this is a Chinese company uh, and some people are a little bit freaked out by that, I'll just be honest. But these guys have great support, uh, great communication, and that goes a long way, you know? So you don't really feel afraid to buy the product and get into it. I saw some comments, some people had issues with different parts failing and stuff like that. Um, I had a filament run out sensor that wasn't perfect, you know, so they actually sent me a new one, like no problem immediately. So they're really nice uh, when it comes to that. Really, really good support. I also just want to say that the adjustability on this is super nice. The touch screen, the interface, everything's really, really nice. You have your adjustment screen. I'm printing right now and it is so, so quiet. You just can't hear this thing at all. So um, I have my Ender 5 Plus printing right now, and that thing sounds like a saw. This thing is absolutely quiet as a mouse, so I love it for that. It's a beast, and it's just so quiet. Um, I haven't really had many issues with it. Everything's been user error, and I have figured it all out. It's It's been really, really nice, actually. This thing surprised me in pretty much every way. Sure, you can upgrade it a little bit, um, but that's pretty much any printer. You know, you can build it up as, as crazy as you want. Now, I did reach out to Tron XY, the team, and they are sending me a dual extrusion setup for this. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're going to replace the hot end. We're going to replace the print ahead, uh, the main board, basically everything. Uh, they're sending it all to me now. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to get it in and start doing some dual color, dual filament prints. And man, that's going to just change the game for me in this printer and let me do a lot more. So I'm super excited about that. And I'm really glad that they were able to uh, accommodate my request on that and get me a dual extrusion setup. I think I'm the first one to have it. They're still engineering it, dialing it in and sending it out to me ASAP. So I'm super pumped about that and I can't wait to test some more of their products. This is really all I wanted to do is just tell you guys where I'm at with this printer. I've been dialing it in, tweaking it, making sure everything's tight and just learning the printer. And it's been great to me. Uh, so maybe you can give it a shot too. Who knows? You know, just wanted to update you guys on the VHO 600. You know, the, the PEI bed is great. Pretty much everything on this thing's pretty solid. So I'm definitely surprised. And I think you guys will be too. So check it out. Maybe give Tron XY a chance. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep making parts. I'm going to keep prototyping and killing it with the 3D printing behind the scenes. Every once in a while, I'll give you an update about it. We'll keep the automotive content rolling and I'll dabble in some more 3D printing content as well. So cheers, subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.